Alright. So, this is going to be a new segment on the channel. Hopefully, if you guys do enjoy it, we're going to call this No No's Nose Review. Now, I mostly might do these reviews on movies that may have happened recently. I may go see the new movies coming out soon. Should I go see Power Rangers? Should I, show, should I go see uh, Kong? Or should I go see something else? You guys tell me in the comments. But we're going to be reviewing the Fremont Ross High School Presents Footloose. Now, I'm going to be honest. I did have my doubts about this. I'm not just saying this because... Um, the people in it were bad. I'm saying this because people who were actually in the play were actually freaking out about practice and stuff like that. So that's why I thought it was going to be a little bit bad. Just a clarification. I thought people were going to forget their lines. And I thought like maybe someone was sing off key just a little bit for a whole time. But actually, no. It was actually good. Um, I'm not surprised that it was good because I know a lot of people that are in there that probably made the play even better than it was expected to be. All Most of my friends were in there, so I actually did love it when I saw them. I smiled so much because not because um, they were on there, not because it was good and because they were actually on there looking cute and awesome on there. So I thought that was really nice. So... What the play is usually about, if you guys have never seen a play or a movie version of Footloose, is exactly like that. They did really good. The acting was on key. They yelled. They weren't afraid to yell. They weren't afraid to sing. Everybody was who they were. And all the extras was just so nice. All the extras did what they had to do. No one messed up. No one did anything. They all sang their parts. My friend Paige, she was amazing. Uh, <laughs> that's all I mostly care about. My friend Paige was amazing. My friend Gabby and... Sierra and all of them, they were good, but my friend Paige, she actually been nice. I seen her mostly in there, other than any of my friends. So, yeah, um, I will say, I did smile a lot through this, because it was actually good. If I had feelings, I would actually maybe cry a tiny bit, because I actually felt the emotion in the play, too. Now, i never actually seen a movie or anything that made me feel like, oh no, why? I just watched the movie to enjoy it. And when I was watching the play, it was actually nice. It was really good, this writing and everything, the production, the cool. <laughs> oh wow, they have a whole lot for the page. Aww. Uh, yeah, so they gave us this tiny little thing for every time we walked in. It explained what was it, what was it, and stuff like that. If you guys want to look at it, you can pause it. It showed the scenes we had to do, all the scenes they did, not me. They did, and to mention in the last few scenes, uh, this is the, everybody who were in there, the whole cast, they were also in there. It's really nice. It showed people who were working, the stage lights, and stuff like that. It's really nice. I like it. It... I thought it was good, he, and <laughs> this I thought it was cool. Um, so, in like a little fact about Footloose and stuff like that, again, you guys can pause it if you guys want to. Go like reading it, <laughs> I think it's backwards. And then, for a whole um, couple of pages, like uh, one, two, three whole pages, it says descriptions of everybody who was in it, and I thought that was actually really nice. Actually, four whole pages, four whole pages. And, yeah. And they also showed some pictures about the whole cast and stuff like that. So, they weren't just showing the main character. They were showing everybody. Everybody was respected in this. So, if you guys have your little cliches about theaters, well then, too bad. Fremont Ross actually did it better. I'm not going to lie. Fremont Ross did an excellent job at um at Footloose. It was amazing. The songs were great. The songs were on key. You actually felt the characters. The acting was perfect. The songs were amazing. They did not like just... Like, if you ever went to a play, sometimes if it's a school play, they play the song from the movie and nobody's actually playing the instruments. It's just the instrumentals and someone would be singing or something. They actually played their own music. They played a piano, they played the drums and stuff like that, and I loved it. The music they played was actually on key. It was perfect. It was amazing. I felt like, like again, there's not much to say about this because there was so much, and my cousin was actually playing one of the leads as the 
strict dad and whatever that band of thing, but yeah. Um, it was actually really nice. I loved it. I enjoyed it. If you, I was sitting next to two new friends I just, I just made because of that play. And if you actually asked them, they would actually say, I smiled through most of it. I smiled and I felt the emotions. I would have cried if I could. People kept saying it wasn't that good, but to me, it was actually really nice. It was more about the acting and the production more than the story. Everybody heard the story before. Everybody did it. It's just the way they performed it and everything. I really wish I could show you guys footage to show how amazing it was. But my recording software is acting up, and I wasn't allowed to record anything. I actually wish I did, because this was a review. I was kind of thinking it was not going to be good. But it actually turned out super amazing. My friend Ian and Jose and all, like so many people are in here and it's so awesome. So amazing. And it's just, wow. <laughs> but yeah, that was my technically small review about it. But if I were to put it up in like a few seconds of thing, I would say this. The Fema Ross high school production of Footloose was freaking amazing with the acting, the singing, the performance, all the extras too. When the main kid, like, people knew that the main characters, like, if they weren't in the point of view, they would just on it, and the production and singing and everything, everybody had amazing voice to ever sing and talk and amazing. Uh, my friend Austin, he was doing good singing, dancing. My friend Paige, I seen her a lot. I kept smiling. <laughs> so, that's leaving me to one... Um, this is going to be one of the parts of the review. The fun times I had at the intimate... Fun times I had at the play. So, that was a whole... That was technically the review performance. Everybody was clapping. They announced all the people. Everybody was clapping. They did the last moment dance again for some reason after they announced all the characters clapping like you were clapping for hours you wanted to clap for hours that's how good the thing was to me because again it wasn't about the storyline it was actually more about the production the spotlights were on cue the sounds and everything were on cue everybody they did it so quick even changing settings it was amazing so the fun times i had at the thing now as again like i said earlier i met two new friends there um they're both brothers and sisters one is a senior one is a freshman I know the senior was called Karina, Karina, and I forgot her brother's name. She, the AI actually never told me. So when it was intermission, I didn't know it was actually intermission because I heard the play was only supposed to be two hours, and I got there by seven, so I thought it would end by nine. So when I got to the gym right here, it says right there, gym. I thought it said gym down here too, so I did not see the little. 20 minute intermission right there, so I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I think it's over. And then I, like, instantly yelled back, oh, wait, no, it's not, it's not, it's not over, it's not over. So, I saw seeing my friend Emily, I found out Emily had Instagram, so I go follow her, and then I went to go talk to my two friends, amazing friends, Dawson and Nick, they were, Nick Jovic was um, with the light, so he had some time doing intermission, he didn't have to do much, so... I also bothered my friend Gabby, so I wanted to go backstage with them and say hi congratulations, give them some snacks or whatever. So, yeah, um, I told my I told my friend Nick and Dawson I had snacks, and so when I got over there, I thought they stole all my candy, but no, they just took a Snickers and uh, and a Hershey's bar I had, and I'm like, oh, did you guys steal all my candy? And they just ran off. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel duped, but. Yeah, I had so much fun there. The um, So many people left because they actually thought that was the end. And I thought that was funny, but I stayed. It was amazing. It was actually worth the $5 per student and $7 per adult. That's how it went. It was actually worth it. Because it was actually that good. And so, um, after... I went back to my seat. I realized I had an M&M still. <laughs> I had like a bag of M&Ms and two Snickers left. And I thought I, I forgot about the M&Ms. <laughs> forgot about that. So I ate the, one of the Milky Ways. And I gave it to um, my new friend. I'm like, hey, you want the last Snick uh, You want the last one? He's like, yeah, cool. So we started talking. And I followed my new friend on Instagram, Karina. Um, it, they're really nice. I took a picture with them. I'll show it up right now. I scribbled out my face because, ooh, 
I made an ugly face. <laughs> My idol face is like so ugly. So, yeah. So, there was this one part about. I wish I could show you guys, like, a little what before the play. So there was this one part at the scene where they, um, my friend Paige and some of her friend people dancing, they had a book and they had to put it down, whatever. And I'm like this, smiling my best because I thought the dancing was cute and she looked cute in it and everybody was amazing. And I just like to smile on my friends because they're doing such an amazing job and I feel happy for them. So I'm smiling and she sees me, like, dead on. I'm, like, staring at her the whole time because... I wanted to annoy her the most because I knew that if I went, I would annoy her. So I smiled at her dead on, eye to eye. I'm like, eye to eye, smiling my best. And she almost messed up. I, that's the funny part. She almost messed up on Friday. Because when she had the book up in her hand, she see me. So she turned away and smiled right before it was done. Like, 10 seconds one, and then it would have been intermission. So... I heard her, like, she even, I met with her after the play, and she said, Yeah, after I seen you smile, I just had in my head, I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him, and I died laughing. And so, she even said, um, after the curtains closed, she asked somebody, Do you know anybody named Nono? And they're like, Yeah, and she's like, Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. So, I even offered her, I'm like, I'm like that, cause pain don't tickle, so I'm like that, I'm like, Come and hit me. She just slapped me, and I just giggled, I, pain tickles for me somehow. So, yeah, she was actually really good. I actually wish I brought flowers for most of my friends. And I would have brought other things. I, I'm like, well, you are amazing. So, I gave all my other friends high, um, hugs and good job. My friend Ian, his eyebrows were on the fleek. More often on fleek, I would say. But I really did enjoy it. So, the next time they're going to, Fremont Rocks is doing a play. You guys got to go watch it. I know you guys may think it's going to be bad.